Oh man, I'm not getting lucky at all. Getting cocked right over. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. So I dropped off the old GX75 to the dads this morning about, I don't know, quarter after seven, something like that. Jumped it off, left it with him, showed him how to work it, gives me a call at like 10.30. I don't want this thing, come get it and sell it. I don't need it, I don't want it. I'm like, okay, no problem. I was like, what's the problem? He goes, well, I just did the whole lawn, it didn't cut nothing. I said, well, did you have a cutting? Well, maybe not. So, you know, first day working it, you wouldn't know what the difference. So I said, try cutting it now and see how you like it. I don't want it. Come get it. I said, okay, whatever. No problem. So I go on my lunch hour over there to get it. And his lawn's all nice and cut. I said, geez, the lawn looks good. I said, yeah, obviously you figured it out. He goes, yeah, I might hold on to it for a bit. I'm like, okay, no problem. Frank, you know. <laughs> I knew that would have happened. He's like me, undecisive, eh? Sometimes he just doesn't know what the hell's really going on, like me. I thought it was kind of funny. I did today get myself pulley, a belt, and a seat cover for the new one. Because like I said, it needs a little bit of TLC, and we'll get to put a belt in it and a new pulley on it. I read the pulleys are getting bad for getting loose and stuff like that. So we're going to do that, because it's getting hot in here. So we're going to do that, and I got this and that and that other thing there. So we're going to try that. Why wouldn't we? But I just figured to fill you in on that story, because it was pretty funny, so meant to record this morning dropping it off and I forgot to so I apologize. I just was half asleep this morning and still tired so I just dropped her off and away I went to work. Well let's get home here and see what the hell we can get into. I'm glad you're here. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification. Well we're home from work. I got the deer back up here and we're going to... I picked up one of these seat cover things eh? Because my seat's cocked over and those seats are like 300 some fucking dollars so She's getting a seat cover. Let's get this thing slapped on. See how she looks. If you're wondering about the easy go, she's still on hold. Don't worry, we're getting back to the easy go. I got lawn maintenance and shit to take care of right now. So we gotta get this done. Go break the box, because we don't know if she's gonna friggin' fit. Holy, that's quite the cover, Captain. She looks top of the line. Oh, it's even got pockies on it. Oh, oh my God. Look at that, Jim. Looks like you bought the wrong one. It's made for medium batches. Should I take it back and get the right one or should I just go with it? 15 centimeters. Captain, it don't look like 15 centimeters, Jim. Keep 12. All right, so we gotta take this back and we'll get the next size down. We need a small. See, I almost uh, just went for this one and said Fuck it. Now as I'm getting older, I want the right one I do. So we'll shove it back in the box, wait and get the right one. Actually, I'll call them right now and see if they got the right one. Good, thanks, who's this? How you doing today? Good, thanks, there's no call around or no, she got home. Okay, hey listen, I was in earlier and we weren't sure, I bought a seat cover for my deer. Okay, no, good enough, I just wanted to see, because if you don't have one, I'm, there's no bother coming in and exchanging it then. All they had was the mediums, and the other ones are back ordered for I don't know how long, so I'm just gonna use that one. I got a sewing machine downstairs, Captain. If it's too loose, we'll sew her up. Where is it? Let's go get it. Actually, you know what? Let's get it after, I'm gonna blow this off first. Ugh. Wow, Jim. So I got that all off the deck, as you can see, it's hot out. So now I'm gonna pull this in and we'll get our flip up and change out this drying belt. Let's get rid of this. It's too hot this time. Pinch out the fuel line. Thank you. Holy crap, that dry belt is dead. Wow. All right, sorry about that. My battery went dead in the GoPro, but I didn't get far. All I did was take off this spring, which is a tensioner that holds this up and it goes on that pulley. So next thing we gotta do is just take a mental note of that. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. So we gotta undo this pulley, and we'll probably have to loosen this pulley, and hopefully we'll be able to get through that pulley. But look at that belt. It is absolutely gacked. So we definitely have to change that. And we'll loosen this off, get that thing out of the way. There we go. I'm just gonna take it right out of the way for now. And we'll have to loosen this off, probably. Who the hell put that there, Jim? What the hell's up with that? What is that? Oh, I bet you that's a doodad. So we'll take the belt off back here. And we're gonna have to take the belt off up here. Like so. Ooh, that chain don't sound healthy at all. She's got a cylinder on her, Jim. So we'll do that. We'll take this around here like this. Now we gotta remove these. Now some guys take them off here, but I'm gonna take them off here. So I'll remove the cotter pin. I don't know how. Somebody's saying that it's easier to remove the steering knuckle. It's a cotter pin. Sorry, bud. I disagree with you. I'd rather you remove the cotter pin. Captain, 
damn near fell out. There we go, one washer and off it is. So there's that one, get that out of the way. Remove the other clatter pin. Now a lot of these are probably saying, how come you haven't power washed that yet? You do it after, I don't wanna do it right now. He, try, he goes and tries it again. Really be nice if there's a way to get the pony prepared. Can we get an iced tea for you? There it is, we got her. Oh yeah! And we'll get this pulley out of the way. There we go. So now we should be able to get this right out of here. Oh, hold on, we got another jigsaw puzzle. Oh, we gotta take this off. Take that out of the way. Oh, dick. Take this around here like this. Go around here like this and out she comes. There we go, so we got the belt out. Now, we gotta figure out how it goes back in. First thing we gotta do is change that new pulley I just got. This pulley back here on the transmission. Oh yeah, she dickered. We'll get out our trusty snap-on light and we'll aim her right in there at us for us. Oh yeah, we did. These pulleys are bad for going. That one's right there. And we'll see if we can't change her out. So we're gonna need these tools. And unfortunately, this one isn't a 90 degree angle. So I'm hoping I can even get it in here, which would suck if I can't. And it's looking like I can't. Oh boy, what happened? Oh, dick. I got the wrong tool for the job, Jim. So let's try doing it the old fashioned way. See if we can't lose it. We're getting her, kinda, sort of. Oh, you dick. Oh, dick. Remember, if you don't have the right tool, you can still always get it. You just gotta be careful. Here she comes. I just don't lose her. There we go. I got her. I got her and I didn't lose her. So now we can slide this off and check it out. It looks pretty well, not too bad. How's the fan look? Let's check it out. It don't look too bad. A little on the weebly wobbly side, but hey. It is what it is, it is. We'll stick it back on and then we'll get the new pulley. Actually, we'll put this pin back on. We'll get the new pulley on there. And we'll put a wash on it. Made in China. Come on, dear. Oh, dear. There she is. That's it. Ooh, that feels good. Eh? I'm gonna put some grease on it. Never go wrong with some grease. I could have got away with still using that same pulley because it wasn't in bad shape. But you're this far now. You might as well put her on. Yeah. Grease on the shaft. Slide the pulley on. Put off the fingers. There we go. The cotter pin back on. If I can get it on because I haven't got the right tool, we're gonna find out right now. If you don't have the right tool, get one hand in there. Get a slot screwdriver in there and just freaking pry her apart. Get her started. Hold on a second, this ain't working. Frick. Another way you could do this if you don't have your right tool is you put a little pin in there or a little screw in there and wedge it through on a vise and then sometimes you get lucky enough where it will actually walk over it. Oh, it fell off. Oh man, I'm not getting lucky at all. Getting cocked right over. I'm gonna wrestle with this for a fucking half an hour because I don't have the right tool for it, just so you know. And now I just dropped it. Oh, I dropped it again. I'm gonna come back once I get this pin back on because it's not gonna be a fun process. Get the right tool, get a 90 degree pin removal tool. Get one of these off. Don't even try to screw with it unless you got a pair of these. 90 degrees. Thank God my local Snap-on dealer lives right behind my house. I was able to call him and he said, yep, come on over and we'll get you a pair. So now this thing should slap right on there because I wrestled it for a little while off camera and I had enough. I was like, I can't do this anymore. I'm gonna fucking lose my shit. So now at least I can get this on right. Look at it. Oh, well, that was just an awful thing to do. But there you go, new pulley on, piece of cake with the right tools. <laughs> so now we can put the belt on. We gotta try to remember how the damn thing even went in here. So we went in here around this thing, right? Yeah, around that, it went in here, around that, it went over this, like that, back here, and put it over here, like that. It goes on this pulley, there it goes. Ooh, that was a tidy. And it went around here. Probably should have put it on that pulley first. Let's take that off, go around here, onto this pulley, and then we gotta put this pulley back on here. That goes up here, like this. This pulley goes on, like this. There we go. Put this back on here. Okay, okay. So now this goes back on here, which puts tension on this. There we go. And then the big spring was right here. There it is. All the way down to here. Oh, oh. Hold on, Jim. Let's get something hooked on that. That's good. That's good. Okay. Put this back on. Spring back on. Steering arm's back on. 
Here we go, there's one. Here we go, there's two. So we got that, 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 that. Now all we gotta do is oil shit. Grease fittings and then fucking power wash. And we're done. That's that one. No fittings there. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Any grease fittings back here? No, 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 no. Okay, there's no fittings there. You can get that from the ground, and we'll get the other one from the ground. All right. So there we go. We got the new drive belt in. Everything's good. Buttoned up. Ready for some action. Let's see what happens when we take off the brake. Oh, that's the f***ing dick. That belt looks long, but I'm sure it's fine. So there we go. Like I said, new belt, all in. New pulley, done. Power wash time. Friggin' right it is. Well, I'm all done. Had a shower, ate dinner. Lawnmower's working great. I got everything fixed right up on it, so we're good there. But other than that, I got some more t-shirts to make and this and that. So, we're doing good, we are. So hopefully everybody's having a good day like I am. Not doing anything I ain't doing. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification. Love y'all. And until next time, you know what to do for now.